Hey Elevation, uh, Steve here with a trio of announcements or ways you can get involved this fall. Uh, the first is you may have seen that we are doing a fall learning community again. We don't anticipate uh, there's going to be as many people involved in the summer learning community, but if you missed reading A Church Called Tove with us um, in community and you wanted to get uh, involved in that and pick up on some of the, the collective learning we've been doing, we would invite you to this five-week uh, read through of this book. We'll go through a couple chapters at a time, reflect on some of the material, and all in a in a context of learning together and reflecting together. That's starting October twelfth uh, for five Wednesdays in a row on Zoom in the evening. I'll include the link in the uh, YouTube blurb. The second thing is vision. We are uh, where we're at in terms of our, our community and our transitional process is discerning vision together. And we want intentionally to have a, a plurality of voices from different uh, places in our community. We don't want this just to be a leadership thing or a centralized thing. We want to hear from people at the margins. We want to hear from researchers. We want to hear from uh, those with a spiritual impulse for prayer uh, but those who are maybe more new to this whole following Jesus together thing. We want to hear from people who are engaged in their locale, in their locality. We want to hear from people who are dreamers of possibility. We want to hear from different demographics and age groups. And recently, one of the people who has sort of suggested they would like to be part of this, and we're so excited uh, she's on the team, Sophie, said, why don't we have a member from each neighbors group on this team? And I thought that's a fantastic way of including different people from our community. So if you... Uh, want to represent your neighbors group in this conversation around vision, this process of clarifying and discerning our vision together, um, let me know, send me a message. We'd love to be to have you as part of this. The third way you can get involved, and this was alluded to by uh, Chad a few weeks ago, was by stepping into uh, being a member of the steering committee. And, uh, and Chad articulated First, there's a nomination process, and if you want more information about that, reach out to the steering committee uh, about how people get nominated and what that process looks like. But second, just the uh, the slide around um, full three-year terms uh, versus even a transitional role uh, that the steering committee is exploring to have a, a transitional steering committee member. So if you would like to... to um, help st the steering committee carry the burden of leadership and join with the pastoral team in the spiritual leadership of this church. Um, let the steering committee know, um, sc at elevationwaterloo.org. That's all. Thanks.